at just 20 years old while working three jobs to pay for his college education. This leader started his ACN journey. He's the oldest of five children in a single parent household. He was praying for an opportunity that could help his family and simply put him through school. Today, at 29 years old, he's never since worked a traditional job and he's never written a resume. Through perseverance, commitment, and adopting an attitude of gratitude, he found that this opportunity allowed him to grow as a person while determining his own earning level and worth. Please help us promote to the position of Regional Vice President, Casey Snyder. Revolution! Revolution! I stand before each and every one of you today absolutely humbled, absolutely overwhelmed, with an absolute attitude of gratitude. All glory be to God. Directly behind me is my family minus one, my mother, regional director, my sister, Jenna, my brothers, Joshua and Timmy. Timmy's a brand new team coordinator as of today. <laughs> there are countless people that I must take a moment and, and simply recognize. There's individuals that have been a family to me over the last eight, nine years along this journey. Oren Solomon, Leanne Gabriel, Anwar Miller, James Adlam. These leaders created a system eight or nine years ago when I took a look at ACN and simply allowed me to plug in. And I grew up along this business, following their leadership, as well as a personal mentor by the name of Mike Kane. I saw ACN eight and a half years ago. I think I have to share with you where it all began, if it's okay. <laughs> that house is where we all grew up, behind me, my family. 
It was a two-bedroom trailer for the six of us. My mom taught me faith early on. She taught me work ethic. And she said, if it's gotta be, it's up to me. I decided to go play two sports in college, was recruited at a school in Philadelphia, wound up at that particular institution, had to pay for the education, so I was working three jobs. I was a janitor at a gas station. I was cleaning out shower stalls of truck drivers. I was a gas station attendant. I was a security officer simply because I had access to empty dorm rooms with a mattress. I would spend my entire summers devoted towards getting a paycheck to be able to pay my way through school. <clears throat> the week before I saw ACN, I worked 126 hours in one week between those three jobs. I didn't know what I was gonna do. Got a phone call from a friend, came out to an event, was blown away, got started, Max out the compensation plan as a college student. My first month in business, met Michael Kane at that particular time. He pulled me aside after a month or so in the business, and I saw the first sign of ACN as regarding gratitude and appreciation. He pulled me aside and gave me my first ever suit. <laughs> in hindsight, I don't know if it's out of gratitude or if it was because of I couldn't <laughs> be a broke ETT in the front of the room with khakis on, you know. <laughs> But from there, it only grew. My friendship with Anwar Miller grew. My friendship with James Adlam grew. These individuals became brothers, older brothers I never had, father figures I never had, ladies and gentlemen. A couple months later, I was having success in ACN. I plugged into a convention. My business absolutely skyrocketed. Came home from the international event. Six months into the business, a couple days after that point, I was in a horrific car accident heading to a home meeting. Day or two later, there were more people at ACN in that, in that room, in that hospital room, than anybody I knew prior to that at that point. <laughs> Mike Kane, Oren Solomon, James Adam, and War Miller got together. They flew my mom out from Buffalo, New York, to Philadelphia to be with me in that hospital room. At that point, I realized what ACN was all about. I planted my flag, if for anything else, just to prove them proud and become regional vice president. <laughs> Took some time off, focused on my education, came back, hit team coordinator, got into some production, <laughs> got into a lot of production, <laughs> became very distracted in school. <laughs> I promised my mom I would get a degree. I believe you finish anything you start. So I graduated, just decided once I did, I would just never work. <laughs> Again, I thought I figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Had some more success, but was humbled very, very quickly. Got a phone call from home just when I thought I'd figured it out. Be a regional vice president two or three years. My mom was diagnosed with cancer at that point. <laughs> my reason why changed, my goals changed. Our family came together and we fought. My mom fought. And today, ladies and gentlemen, she stands before you completely cancer free. <laughs> She said I was her inspiration, watching me grow through ACN, watching my personal development. That's how she got through it. But what she didn't understand is watching her fight through that. That's how I got through this. I was four years ago. I came back, refocused, was promoted as a three-star regional vice president. <clears throat> Again, thought I'd figured it out. 
So many times, ladies and gentlemen, I've been humbled, but the reality is I just made a commitment. I didn't care what I was going to have to go through. Didn't care what all of us were going to have to go through. The bottom line was my word was I was going to do it. There was no time frame when, it was until. And I kept going and going. This is my 34th consecutive international training event. I have never missed one. It had absolutely nothing to do with ACN or these amazing co-founders on the stage. I have the most amazing team as far as I'm concerned. The bottom line was there were struggles that I had to go through. There was personal development that I had to experience. There's so many people I could thank. Thank all the people that built my business. Thank all the no's that built me. And no, they couldn't be here today. God bless each and every one of you. I will see you again at Senior Vice President. Thank you.